Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so let's go ahead and jump right into it I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer now I absolutely love this primer especially when I'm going for a matte face it's smooth it's blendable it has foundation sticking to it like glue so I definitely love it and I can't wait to get like the Fenty Beauty foundation to see how well it pairs with it all right, so on to foundation. I am using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation in the shades Dakar and Gabon. Now, if you watch my other video where I used the Juvia's Place palette, I said I wasn't gonna give my full thoughts on the foundation until I got my shade. So anyways, I got a shade, but it's still a little too light. I'm pretty sure they have my shade where I can only use one, but I'm just picking the wrong shades, I guess. So I just mixed them together um so my thoughts a little definitely goes a long way i probably used just a bit too much because i was mixing the foundation together the two colors um but a little definitely goes a long way um very creamy texture as well so it's still very blendable while you're applying it so i do love that and it's not too cakey as well i didn't think it was too cakey even when i used a little bit more than i should have but I definitely love the texture of it, definitely love how well it dries matte, and love how full coverage it is. When they said it was full coverage, they were not lying about that. So on to concealers now. I am using their concealer in shade number 14 and 11. I think I said last time with the concealers as well. I love it. Very blendable as well, very easy to use. I absolutely love Juga's Place and what they're doing with these foundations and the concealer because 10 out of 10 for sure. And now I'll be contouring with the Juvia's Play Shade Stick in the shade Katsina. Um, the shade stick is actually a foundation. It can also give you a full coverage look as well. So if you're more of a fan of a shade stick, um, or not a shade stick, but a foundation stick, you can use this instead of liquid. Um, I'm definitely going to see if I can find my shade and try it out as a foundation. Um, I've never been a fan of uh, foundation sticks just because I've had my share and they were just not that great um, but this still has a very creamy texture very easy to use um, so I might give it a try this brand might make me change my mind about foundation sticks And now I'm just blending everything together, just getting rid of any harsh lines, you know, just making the look a little bit more cohesive. And now I'll be setting my highlighter areas with the I Am Magic setting powder in the shade Sahara. And again, 10 out of 10, like with the face products, Juvia's Place does not miss.
And of course, I'm gonna always use this Maybelline product. I am going in with that Fit Me uh, press powder in the shade Coconut and just going over my highlighted areas with that. And I'll be highlighting my nose and my cheeks with that Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Topaz. And I'll be using that CoverGirl Bronzer in the shade Ebony now. Um, I'm still waiting on my bronzer that I bought from Makeup Revolution. I can't wait to use it. Oh my god. So until then, I'm still using this CoverGirl one. And now on to eyes. I just got the chocolate palette from Juvia's Place not too long ago. And I'll be using that rich brown shade and putting that into my outer corner, into my crease, and a little bit above my crease. Um, they came out with a whole bunch of mini palettes. Well, not a whole bunch. Just four. The chocolates, the nudes, the berries, and the violet. I wanted to get all four just to, like, you know, do looks with each of them. Um, but I ended up just getting the chocolates to start out first. And I actually really, really like it. And so with that one shade, I'm really just trying to uh, build up on the shade and also just blend it out as I go. And now I'm just going in with that darker brown shade and applying that into the outer corners of my eye. And now I'm just going back in with that first shade of brown and just making sure um, both of these shades blend in together really well. And now I'm using that LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Warm Beige to create my cut crease. And I've been going a little cut crease crazy lately, but once I got it down, I was like, let me get these cut crease looks out for y'all. So I'm just going to be doing a half cut crease look for um, this one. And once I get the cut crease to look how I want, I'm just going to set it with um, setting powder before I apply the eyeshadow. And now I'm just going to go in with that um, 
I guess it's like a shimmery kind of brownish shade. So I'm just applying that all over my lids. And just to talk about the eyeshadow palette just a little bit more, um, I definitely really like it. Very easy to use, very pigmented as well, easy to blend, easy to build up on. So I would definitely recommend it, especially for the price. And now I'm just going in with that e.l.f. eyeliner. Um, it took all of me not to just wing that liner the way I always do with every look that I do. But I just wanted to try something new. So I'm just going halfway right now. And now I'm just going to go in with that darker brown shade and just apply that on top of my eyeliner because I want that eyeliner to be the same shade as the outer corner. And now I'll just be using the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in the shade black. And I'm just applying that in my lash line. So yeah, this look is very different for me because I don't even like applying anything on my lower lash line. But I was like, let me step out the box a little bit. So yeah, I'm going back in with that uh, lighter brown that I used earlier and just applying that along my lash line as well. And then I'm also going to use that darker brown shade from earlier and apply that along my lash line as well. And I'm just applying the Grey Lash Mascara from Maybelline um, on my lower lashes. So we're finishing up the look now and I am just lining my lips with brown liner per usual. And I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton to finish off this look. And usually I don't use setting spray I don't know why I'm just I don't really care to use setting spray but when I do I am using the Urban Decay all-nighter setting spray and boom that's your look right there and honestly I loved how it came out at first thinking about it I was kind of unsure but I was like let me step out the box do something a little different and it definitely did what it had to do so i hope you guys enjoyed this look please like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in my next video